we're really delighted to bring to Worcester the Mi Puerto Rico master painters of the island from 1780 to 1952. You might wonder why those dates, 1780 is the, the first painting in the show, dates from that time, 1952 because that's when Puerto Rico became a commonwealth of the U.S. And so um, this is a show that was put together for us by the Museo de Arte de Ponce, and we're really grateful to them. It's been a great partnership, a real pleasure to work with them. And um, it's a chance for us to learn not only about these three great, great masters, uh, the uh, Jose Campeche, the oldest of the masters, Francisco Ayer and Miguel Poe, and some of their followers. But equally important, certainly for us here in Worcester, um, is to learn about Puerto Rico. Uh, I know that was one of the joys for me in working with uh, the staff at Ponce on the show, is to learn about a part of the U.S. I knew about it, I've been there, but I really didn't know it's wonderful and colorful, fascinating history. Oyer had a very successful career in Madrid. Um, King of Spain purchased his work, but when he came back to Puerto Rico, he had a really tough time of um, supporting himself with this art. One of the reasons is because he uh, didn't share necessarily the same views as the wealthy landowners. He was very um, strongly against um, slavery, very outspoken about that, and um, very much in favor of free education for all, no matter you know, what your um, race or class. This is a painting that he did of a very famous person in Puerto Rico's history, Rafael Cordero. He was a freed slave, and he made a living as a shoemaker and also rolling tobacco. Um, so you see sort of the tools of his trade right here, which he, you can imagine him doing in between giving classes. Um, and he taught um, out of his home for um, about 50 years, and he's sort of the father of education in Puerto Rico. 